have to so here you have to input the counts number of books number of pens and number of pencils right input number of mm -hmm. pens pencil and uh, that, those are the only items you are going to input the other things are there in the systems now as values right so oh. uh, first you have to begin and you have to input uh input uh book count book count and pen count and lunch box count so if you have counts then you can proceed those are the only inputs then you can process then you can start calculating this what is book price? Fifty. Yes. Book price. Fifty. <laughs> what is a uh, pen price? Those are processes, right? Equal equaling is also processes. Pen price is twenty. Twenty. The lunch box. One hundred fifty. Price is. Uh, sorry, 250. Then what is the total book price? So, but they haven't told you how much books, right? Yeah, but total book price will be book price. You can tell it using variables. Book price into book, book count. You don't know the values, I know, so, but so in the programs, you know, no need to know the values. No, you can do it by variables. So similar to that, you can uh, find the uh, total pen price and total lunchbox price, lunch lunchbox price. So then they are sum them up. Then you can find the total. It's easy, you know. So what was the problem? So what was the issue? Sorry, now, now is it clear? Yeah. yeah, now okay. No, right. Please do it now. Okay, after that, what do you have to do? You start and input the counts and then found the counts and then found the prices of these, sorry. Then what do you have to do? Yes. Now you know the, the discount. Yeah, you have to calculate the discount, but before calculating the discount, you can find the bill value. Bill value and bill value is equal to uh, total book price plus don't use this much of lengthy variables <laughs> so it's overhead but anyway i'm going to use this since this is meaningful so you can declare this previously like tbp tpp tlp bp likewise you can short this right But if you are shortening, you have to mention the variable meaning. Okay, now you found the bill value and what is the discount? Discount is, you don't know the discount, basically it's zero because you don't know the discount, right? But you can find the discount based on a decision you can take a decision to find the discount for an example you can say if can you tell what to include here if if yes how to find discount if if uh, price is greater than right so price yeah. is if what yes price than. price means bill value no bill value, yeah, bill value. Greater, than. greater than or equal to five thousand no greater than five thousand no because five thousand excluding five thousand greater than five thousand bill value greater than five thousand if it is yes you have to tell okay, if yes discount is 10%. 10% discount can be given like this. 
discount equal bill value into 10%. You can say 0 0.1. Else, if this is yes, no, yes, this side. If you have exceeded 5,000, if it is yes, you have this one. If it is no, this is if it is yes. What if it is no? Again, like similar to the previous one, if it is no, you have to check again. It is yes, okay. If this is no, you have to check again whether it is greater than or equal to 2,500. Flowchart is the only uh, difficult thing now. I think the coding will be easy. This flowchart you have to draw and build it. But anyway, that is plan. If plan is correct, then the implementation will also be correct. Else if you have to check with the Bill value, check whether bill value uh, exceed in 2500, including that. Including that means less than or equal to 2500. If this is yes, discount will be 5%, 0, 05. Right? Then if it is no, no discount, right? No need to do anything because discount is zero initially. If it is no, don't no need to do anything. You can just come down and merge this. Let's merge this. If anything unclear, please ask, right? Going to merge here. Right, let's merge this one too. And this one. As well as this one. Let's merge all three. Right, now you have found the total, now you know the bill value, now you know the discount. After that, you can find the discounted bill value. Discounted, now you know the discount, so discounted bill. To find discounted bill, well, what, you, what you can do, you can bill value, you can add bill value plus discount. Okay, now you know all these things. Now is the time to output this. So trying to output all these. So what you have to output? Display bill value. Oh no, display. First of all, you have to display yes, everything. This is detail bill now. Display uh, book. Count display book count, then the book price. You have to display everything, right? So it's very large one. Book count, book price, <coughs> book count, comma. Book price, comma, pen count, 
comma pen price comma actually uh total total so book count total book price pen count comma total pen price uh, then <coughs> Mm, lunch box count comma total lunch box price and bill value discount and discounted bill. After displaying all these things, you can finish your program. <coughs> After finishing all these things, okay, it's done. Then you can stop. Okay. Done this or any mistakes, any issues? Uh, yeah, it's an issue. Okay. okay, no? Yeah. Right, likewise, so normally uh, they won't ask large flow charts, but uh, anyway, you have to prepare. Right? You have to prepare because sometimes uh, they might ask to fill in. Uh, the blanks, or they will uh, they will give the flow chart and ask. Yeah. Them. Right. I'll I'll discuss similar exam questions. Right. I'll discuss uh, similar exam questions next day, not but not today. So let's uh, complete the. Okay, you you need to take a screenshot of this. So I think you are done. No. Yeah. Uh, once again. Okay. okay, but if you really need, yeah, take it. But you cannot <laughs> see the content. I think. You can, can see the structure. Yeah, you can see the structure, but not the content. Because I have used large variable names. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Then this this one. Then all these calculations, that is same thing as this one. You have to use same thing, copy paste, that is the things going to be here. Book price and pen price, lunchbox price. Then the total book price, bill value, and the discount. Then there's a change if bill value greater than or equal to so greater than 5000, then discount equal bill value into 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 10 percent else if bill value greater than or equal 2500 then discount equal bill value into 0 0.05 which is five percent discount and end if then after ending, if that means you have come to this level, then you have to find the again the discount. You can find the discounted bill. Discounted bill is equal to bill value minus discount. No, this is for minus. You have to reduce the discount. You don't want to add discount. 
So adding discount to customer means reducing from the bill. So logic should be correct, right? Adding discount to customer means reducing from the bill. Discounted bill equals bill value minus discount. And then you have to display all these things. Display. Um, display what you have input. Then display uh, these things. Total book price, total. Total lunchbox price. And you have to display field value, display discount, and display discounted bill two, discounted bill two. Then you can end. So this is your pseudocode it's lengthy this is your pseudocode it's quite lengthy why this is is he, uh, this is empty this is because it's a uh, Detail bill. Basically, it's a detail bill. And you have to do many calculations to display even three inputs. Users, for users, this is easy. Users are given three inputs, that's all. But for developers, it's quite difficult to develop the logic. Done? <laughs> yes, then you can copy the same thing and paste it. In, so let's copy these things and paste in Python. Let's use a new file. Let's use same thing. I'm going to save this as exe-entry.py. And I'm going to input uh, book count and pen count and lunchbox count. You also one missing, right? Count, 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 empty. Book count, pen, uh, pen count, pencil count. You have to say, okay, int input. Pens, books, pens and pencils. So the pens and lunch boxes. Then the book price, pen price, this is okay. Total book price equal book uh, price equal to book count. So this is also okay. Bill value is equal to this one, that is also okay. Discount is all zero, that's also okay. If bill value is then part is not there, you have colon instead of that. Then you have to tell discount. Okay, discount equal this one. Else, if you don't have instead of that, you have a leaf. Then part is not there. You have colon. Then the gap and end if is not there. It should be simple. Uh, then discounted bill value is a uh, bill value into discount. That is also correct. And display discount, you have to say print. Print book count. And let's say 
I'm going to display something mean in full. Yeah, books. Books, then I'm going to put uh, equal sign. Then in front of that, what I'm going to do, uh, books equal, let's say number of books, book count um, into, I'm going to add into X symbol and then I'm going to show the book price. Sorry, into book count into the book price. This one, book count into book price. Then again, here colon. So here, let's let me use a equal sign just to make this meaningful, right? Then let's display total book price equal total book price. Okay, same thing. I'm going to use for the other components, pens and pencils, pens and lunch boxes. Lunch box, pens equal pen count, pen price, and total pen price. Lunch boxes equal Lunch box count lunch box price and total lunch box price. Okay, after that you have you can display the bill value and print the bill value. can say total bill value comma and the bill value. Similar to that, I'm going to display the discount and the final bill value. Discount is equal to the discount. And final bill value is the discounted bill. Okay, done. So let's run this. This is ENEX3. Let's run this. If you are correct, you will get the. Oh, what is that? Inner syntax. This is okay. Launch box, launch box input int. This part is okay. Let's run this. Oof. Why? So, doesn't it show the error diagram or something? Sorry, doesn't it show the errors? Yeah, errors is highlighted here, but I don't know what's the error here. Let's check. INT input bracket bracket. That is okay. Lunchbox count int input within braces. This one. Did I do any, any error here? Oh, seems okay. Books. Let's say you buy 45 books. Pens, let's say 70 pens. Lunch boxes, 20 lunch boxes. And, and, and. Books. You can see the price, pens here, lunch boxes here. The total bill value is this one. And you got this discount, and the final bill value is this one. Okay. So that's yeah. how. You have to get this. Now you can just take a print screen. But this is not the way it displayed in supermarkets, right? 
So they are using like various spaces and uh, something like this. Okay, they might paint. You can do this like, you can do this at home. Paint. This is some handshows. ABC, supermarket. Supermarket, let's say, supermarket. Then some, again, something like this. And a new line. So it should be something like this, right? Not, not just exactly. Uh, so I have just done some books. Mm. It needs some additional equals. They also use Python. Sorry? They also use Python. Uh, no, not Python. They are using basically C, C++ like languages so or VB. Right? Oh. I mean, it can be any language. So can use Python too, but uh, these systems are with all developed using some other technologies because hardware friendly languages like C, C plus C, C is faster. It's hardware friendly. It's faster. Okay. Now you can see your oh, ABC Superman and uh, books. This is somewhat good. Okay, but still the bill is not good. So you can uh, keep some spaces. Okay. You can keep some spaces. One, two, three, four, five, and then here pens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine boxes, one, two, three. You can do this, books. Or pens, again, one space less, and lunch boxes, no spaces, things. Okay, so here, let's remove one, and here, let's remove all. You have to align. Just by doing only, you can align, right? You can see still, still it's not aligned. Or you can use a tab here, T for tab, T for tab, and T for tab. Here, two tabs in this. Let's use two tabs here also. Now, let's see whether it is aligned. Oh, that's better, no? This tab is better than space. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can use tab. So for display also, for this one also, you can use the tab. Okay. For display also, you can uh, use the tab. Here you can use tab here, uh, tab here. So tab in the pens. Pens, pens, and After books, no space more. Sorry, this one? Yeah. Uh, yes, no space. Then, likewise, you can you can just do this and create a nice bill. Okay, okay. Sorry, now, tab attribute. Yes, slash D for tab, slash N for new line. These are called escape characters. Slash N for new line, slash D for tab. Let's use the same format: double tab here and single tab here. Okay, so let's take a pen stream. No need to do this again and again because it's only for formatting. Okay, you can see. You can remove the space here, maybe it will align. Just remove the space here, will align, most probably. And then you can see the numbers and you can uh, use comma separated values if you want. And final bill value, you can just put like this. Uh, just print uh, some equal signs and equal signs here. Okay. 
and new line. Maybe some dashes. Okay, just take a print screen of this. Next day, we will discuss more about. Oh, let's see this why. Just take this out. Next day, we will discuss about repetition, repetition control structure. Take a print, uh, take a screenshot of this. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. And sir, right. when will uh, Python lesson finish? Python lesson will take some time. No, okay, because after lesson. Python, we thought of going again from the first. Sorry. So we won't anything right. So after hmm? Python, hmm? Uh, to start from first. Okay. Sure. First lesson. Yeah, from first sure. lesson. Right. Okay. So. We have to target actually. We have to finish this by um, August, I think. June, uh, June July. Yeah, okay. yeah, August. We finish this by August. So then, August. Uh, for yeah. the moment, yeah. I think the two hour session would be okay. Uh, for so Python. Are, no, right. sir, we are planning to write next year. This year. This year. Do. 21. 21. 21? Yeah, that's why I said we have to finish by uh, August. August to do mm. papers and stuff. We have yeah, to finish by August, August, means that we have like eight months. Yes, I know, like, will the exam be by August or December? We don't know, right? We don't know, we don't know, but we have to prepare to finish this by August, right? Yes, sir. And how about papers, sir? So, paper, that's why I said, so for Python, yes, two hour session would be okay. But when mm -hmm. we are doing uh, the other parts, so I yeah. think uh, let uh, it's better if we can do at least three hours. Okay, so no problem. Right? So it's, it's better if we can do three hours because uh, for Python, I'll go because initially just because you are not much familiar with my style, I'm doing a little bit uh, the two hours limited session, but it's better if we can do three hour session, then we can finish more. That's why I'm always asking to print screen, but uh, without writing, because if you start writing, it will take more time. Okay. But you have to practice these things. Huh? Don't screenshot and uh, keep it uh, yeah. attached to the note, because this is not to maintain the note. No, you have to practice this. So then only you will get this, right? So inside this, you have many to learn. Yeah. Always code it and try. Always code it and try. You can do it. Yeah, it is in uh, mobile phone even because PyDroid is there. Or you can do it yeah. using your computer. So after finishing repetition, so uh, did we discuss about list tuples dictionaries? I think not. No, no. List yeah. tuples dictionaries. Yes. We have to go through that, discuss list tuples and dictionaries for the structures. And after discussing list tuples and dictionaries, then the next part is about uh, sorting and searching algorithms, right? Uh, Object-oriented programming and those parts, uh, I just give the introduction, but that is not there much. So we have discussed about algorithms and algorithms and file handling. So for an example, we will be able to finish that within February. Python, uh, basically the, with the questions, we can finish by mid-March, we can finish Python. Then. The next critical lesson is HTML, PHP. It will take more time. Similar to this, it will take again two and two months or similar time. But after that, other lessons we can discuss quickly. But need three hours lesson, right? After Python, let's increase the number of hours to three. Okay. 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 That's the only thing. Some questions you can put in the group. We can try. Yeah, yeah, you can put it in the group. Sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.